guys, welcome back to the Defect Zone. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be rebuilding an old carburetor. Um, quite often you have problems with the old carburetors. Um, anything from flooding to a bit of dirt in them, making them run lean and cough and splutter and carry on. Um, this one in particular is flooding, so we're going to pull it apart, put a kit in it. It's more than likely a problem with the needle and seat. The good thing is, uh, most of the principles with carburetors are all the same in rebuilding them. So it's pull them apart, find the problem, clean everything up, lubricate where it needs to be lubricated, and put it back together. So, yeah, what we'll do, we'll uh, pop it off and uh, take it over onto the bench, uh, pull it apart, give it a bit of a clean up, and put a kit in it. Put it back together, put it back on, and Give it a quick tune up and out the door. Okay, so I've got the old carburetor off. We'll go over and pull it apart on the bench and uh, pop it in the ultrasonic bath. a little bit hard to see but there is a fair bit of silt and crap inside the bottom of the carburetor that's more than likely a bit of rust from inside the fuel tank um, the fuel tank probably needs a bit of a clean out and putting fresh filters on it as well so We'll have to let the owner know about that. So yeah. Keep going, pop it apart, and um, clean her up in the uh, sonic bath. So here we've got the idle jet, going to remove the idle jet and we have a special tool for doing the main jet as well so we'll pop the idle jet out.
Okay, so we're done in the Sonic bath. We'll get everything out and give it a bit of a clean off to save everything corroding and shit. And um, get everything back in order and uh, get it ready to uh, assemble back together. The insides of the carburetor are so much cleaner than they were before. The cool thing about the Sonic bath is rather than just relying on a bit of penetration from the spray, um, like a carburetor cleaner or whatever, the Sonic bath actually cleans the passages inside the carburetor from inside to outside, so it cleans the whole thing, which is really cool. All the crud has gone from inside there now. It's a bit hard to see. The light's not very good. Try and shine a bit in there. What you can see in the bottom there is it's all nice and clean. There is a little bit of uh, marks from the corrosion, from water in the fuel and that sort of thing, but um, there's no flaky stuff or anything in there anymore. So yeah, all good. So we've got our carburetor all cleaned up, we've got our carburetor kit, it's time to put it back together. Okay, just put the new needle and seed in. With this, the float level is now a little bit low, so we've got to actually adjust it to bring the float level up a little bit.
you can see now, float level's pretty close to being right. If you don't have the float level set right, you can have flat spots um, if it's too low and you can have flooding if it's too high and it'll run too rich. So pretty important to get it in the right spot. Okay, so there we are, carburetor nice and clean, all put back together, ready to pop back on the car. Winning. Okay, so back together, back on the car, we'll uh, fire it up, let the engine warm up and adjust the idle mixture and speed, she should be good. Okay, now that it's warmed up a bit, what we do, 
we adjust the idle screw so that it adjusts up to the highest idle point. If you adjust too far, it'll start to drop down. If you go back the other way, if you go too far, it'll start to drop down. So you just find the happy medium. What that does, um, it makes sure that the engine runs nice and smooth when the engine's warmed up and it makes sure with the old cars that you've got enough fuel there that the engine runs relatively good when it's cold without having to use a heap of choke. So we'll just give it a little bit of a twiddle and it should be right to go. running its best there now. Job's pretty much done. Put the air cleaner back on it and uh, send it out the door.